Hey guys, and welcome back to another Magical Voxel tutorial. In this one, we will be making Blender files, converting them into objects, and putting it directly into Magical Voxel. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, let's say you already exported your Blender file as an object, and you want to directly import it into Magical Voxel. Magical Voxel actually lets you do that. However, if I do this, drag my object file into the program, you can see it's very small and all the detail that I had in this object file is completely lost. This is what the object is supposed to look like, and it's a little bit glitchy right now, but you can kind of see the picture. These are very clear cut uh, cylinders, and it's very detailed, especially right here, there's like piping and stuff. However, in Magical Voxel, you can see it's lost all of that. So let's go ahead and see how we can use a program called Mesh to Vox to preserve the detail and its size. Okay, so the first step you wanna do is you want to first finish your object that you want to import in the Magic Voxel and Blender. So you want to make sure that the object you're importing is completely joined, i.e. is one whole object. With that done, go ahead and go to File, Export, Export as Object, or you can even export as STL. I'm just going to pick Object, and I'm just going to save it to my desktop. Call it, I'll leave it the uh, file name. So go into the desktop, you can see it's right here. It'll save two files, one as a material file and the other as the object file. And this is the one. Okay, so once you have your Blender file saved onto your desktop or anywhere that you're gonna import, you wanna download this program called Mesh to Vox. And this is made by Zarbuzz and this man has been a lifesaver for anyone wanting to import object files into Magic of Voxel. So right here, mesh the box. You go ahead and hit download, and let's you can save it to your desktop. Okay, so once it's done, we're just gonna go ahead and extract it. Once it's extracted, go ahead and open the file, and then double click this exe file. And this will pop up. Um, in order to run it, you just have to click more info and then hit run anyway. And then this UI should pop up. And then right here, you want to go ahead and load the object file. And here's the tank file. And it's populated it here. So I think it looks pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and uh, actually look right here. Um, this is obviously how many colors you want your object to be. There's only like two or three colors. So I'm just going to set this like five. So this right here by scale represents the size of the box file the object will be in terms of voxels. So 256 means that there will be 256 voxels in length for that object. So if you make this any higher, Magic Voxel will automatically make a new object to accommodate the increased size. And then this, you just want to leave the same and you just want to go ahead and hit start voxelization. This could take some time. Uh, if this pops up, you just want to go ahead and hit run. And then it should be done right here. You can hit save Vox. And you can save it to the desktop. Name it whatever you want. And then let's go ahead and check it out. So look at that. It's successfully exported the object file and imported it into Magic of Voxel. And it looks pretty decent, I would say. It still is a little bit unsymmetrical so you can see from the barrel and it's a little bit too bumpy so i'm going to actually go ahead and increase the scale increase the scale by two times so we set the 512 and then just hit start voxelization and then save vox we'll just overwrite the old file now this is looking much better it's a lot it's, uh, it's looking way more symmetrical you can actually see the details especially on the barrel the wheels seem to retain the um the design that i made in blender and everything just looks a lot more symmetrical and we're just going to go ahead and clean this up as you can see it messed up a little bit and some of the code is a little off but it definitely saves a lot of time if you didn't want to make this by hand in magical boxing so after a little bit of cleanup you can see that it looks really good for the amount of time that obviously you gotta make it in blender but definitely saves you a lot of time 
if you are more versed in Blender and you just want to make your thing in Blender and input it into Magical Voxel. So yeah, that basically wraps up this video. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I will have a link in the description of this video going to the GitHub page for that Mesh to Vox program. Hopefully this tutorial has helped, and I'll see you all in the next one.